Good morning, everyone. It is a cold gray day here on my new Tennessee homestead. I'm Kay the Late Bloomer, and we've got a busy day ahead, so stay tuned. The rundown is Tommy should be here any minute to work on the fireplace. He has set the pins in the floating walnut mantle, which I am going to sand, and I am going to use tongue oil. This was hands down the number one recommendation from all of my subscribers. It is 28 degrees outside and I am going to try to probably work in the garage where it's a little bit warmer. So as soon as Tommy gets here, we're going to move that mantle. I'm going to start sanding. I'm going to put one coat on. You'll see that. So I see Tommy pulling in the driveway and I am going to start working on the mantle. I just want to thank this tree. <laughs> There is something living even about a piece of wood. You know, I have such respect for wood because it comes from trees. <laughs> Without trees, we wouldn't even be here. <laughs> I decided to go ahead and put paper over this. Since I'm moving right into tongue oil, I'm gonna go ahead and put this paper down. This is a temporary workbench. should put a, just a toothpick with a little bit of glue under there you know I think that's what I'm going to try to do because that's sticking out and it's going to break off and then I have a big thing here I don't think anything would hold it as well as my finger. I mean, if I had a clamp, if I was a woodworker and I had clamps, but I don't, doesn't want to stick. Maybe I should have used <laughs> super glue. I would have to take this whole front down an eighth of an inch to to make this go away and I don't know why I, I I sort of fell in love with this and I didn't even and I don't know what made that like that Yeah, well, that's a problem. And that's gonna come off too. I either have to glue that or it's gonna come off. Look at that. And that's pretty deep. I could just pull it off. I hate to, really hate to. Then it's gonna have a gash, a big gash. But, oh gosh. I hate to. <laughs> okay, it made the decision for me.
Wow, it's a big old, it's a big old gash now. Obviously, I could go get some wood filler and it might be the best thing because those are deep. I've never used wood filler. Would that look bad on the front? See, it's a deep groove down in there. I think I need to get some wood filler. Or maybe just leave it, I don't know. Boy, those were down under the house for a while. They're getting everything cleaned out. They're using advanced plastic sheeting super duty extra protective barrier. Okie dokie, I'm glad about that. Let's follow the little plastic road here. I said I wasn't going to go in here again, but uh, yeah. We're leaving all your old plastic, which is called poly, okay, under the house, and we're getting it all straight, nice and straight, and then we're putting all the new stuff on top of it. Okay, great. And cutting around all your columns, and so it's completely sealed off from. Fantastic. From the floor. I never had that growing but up. What that does mm -hmm. is keep dampness from going up on your floor joist and your subfloor, and, and it keeps it from turning black. Right. Because if, you know when you get a lot of water in there. Right. Okay. So, yeah, it just keeps the dampness down. Okay, great. Off Fantastic. Your floor, and it makes your floor last better. Oh, und wonderful, wonderful. Okay, after you. <laughs> All right, we're, we're heading under. Okay. But you got three lights under here. Three lights, that's good. Yeah, it's three. Yeah. Yeah, that made it more see, but we but we gathered up in that stuff with some dead mice. Uh-oh. We brought all them out. Okay, thank you. So we got all those out. Okay, how long do you think they were dead? Uh, not too long because they were still all together. Oh, 
Okay. So. I wonder what killed him. I don't know. Hmm. to work down here, yeah, don't you? Look at this. Yep, that goes right to my office. They just, they just, look at that. I mean, these people need to work here, and we've got this wire dangling that is my internet to my office. Yeah. This is totally in your way. Yeah, it's in their way. That's I'm going to come to back. I'm going to tell them to come back and fix it. They should have tied that up properly, right? Yeah, they should have, but they left it down where everything's going to tear it up. Dorothy, are you taking a nap over there? I am. You don't mind, do you? I don't mind at all, no. Go right ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry, what did you say? It looks like no trash up underneath it. You know, just, just a great place to store your trash, right? Or some people you think so. <laughs> I don't think I would want to, but... No. It's drier under here than it is most houses. My, it's, under... easier to find, it's easier to keep them dry if they're up on a hill like this than it is if they're in a low place. Oh, right, right, right. Even though I got a lot of water coming off that hill? Yeah, you can have so much water coming off the back, it's dry under here. Surprising, huh? Yeah. Right, don't come off of there and get. You're not gonna have to cut that too. Just put a wires. The wires gonna pop. I'm gonna get right here and cut it right there so we can straighten it out. Right Just stay right there. Y'all stay right there in that pile. It looks like the water comes in on this end down here too. When I talked to Ken initially, and we did the walk around, uh, we were just talking about four or five jobs, and I didn't even remember to ask him about the cistern. And that's something I want to get set up too, because when it gets dry, I want to be able to use that rainwater on my garden beds. Cut this way a little bit. Here. Okay. I'll go down here and pull that side down. Go down here and pull this down? Yeah, go there and pull it back. What do you want me to do? I guess just stay there. Okay. You can always use bricks. <laughs> well, you don't have much clearance under that ductwork, do you?
Okay, so you've heard me talk about this cistern bladder, this thing, and all the pipes and all the connections, the electric and the plumbing for this looks like it needs to be replaced. It could have been that before they got city water out here that they actually used the rainwater uh, in the house, which makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of water collects in there. Probably when they stopped doing that, they put in the city water, they probably poked a hole in the side of the cistern house because they weren't using enough water. Looks like it has its own breaker box. Somewhere right in here is the shutoff to all the water in the house. Surely that's not it. Oh my goodness, look at that. That goes up to the water in the house. Yeah, there's the shutoff right there. And this goes to this. What is that? Is that electric? No, I don't know what that is. Whatever it is, it's. it really needs, this whole corner really needs a little help. Anybody know what that is? I thought it was animal poop at first. It's got a funny shape. Looks like black olives pitted. I said the last time I came down here it was just going to be the once. But I'm so glad I came down today because now I have a much better idea of what's going on down here. I mean, just like walking your property. You know, when you get a new property, you really need to check out what you've got. And, you, you know, this is, this is everything. This is all my water shutoffs. I mean, I need to know how to turn off my own water. You don't even need this no more. This one down there. In the black one? Yes. Yeah. This, this right here is where it's coming in from the pool. Right, and the black one is uh, like a rubber that pipe? System thing. That's not yeah. what it's for. That's just what it's for. Yeah, this right here is it. It's a wall brand. And so yeah. the electric is just to make this bladder yeah, pump yeah, water or something? Yeah. yeah, you gotta look at the way you you fall is. And all of this the it's all falling this way and this way. It's all coming mm -hmm. into one corner of the house right here because this, this is your always point. Mm -hmm. It's like it's dry now, but it has been wet. So but, that has only to do with groundwater and nothing to do with this apparatus. Has nothing at no. all. If it had something to do with that, it, it wouldn't be looking like that all the way up here. Now this is, I mean, now it's turned off. It's not leaking now. I, I don't know if it's ever leaked or not. But all this right here is from just regular rainwater. Okay. But all see right. out there, your vent is down below. Yeah, no, we got to fix that. Yeah. And it's got to be pulled out from the bottom of that vent mm -hmm. out away from the house. Mm -hmm. And sloping. Not only yeah, pulled be, out, but yeah. a little slope, too. Yeah, you can't just dig it out there. It's got to slope from there all the way to it's away from the house and can't come back. Right. What kind of a implement are you going to use to do that? The grater or something? A uh, track hole. A track hole. Okay. It's got a two-foot bucket on it, and you just rake it down. Okay, good. Get it on grade. He's going to explain it to me. Hey, is that, you think it's dry enough to handle? Yeah. Okay. This, I think so. This downspout. You can grab a couple of those cloths in there. This downspout here. Yeah. Coming down, going into a four inch scheduled 40 PVC pipe. That has been broken. Oh see, no. See, it goes in there. Okay. It goes in there. Okay, that needs to be replaced. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But that pipe, that's four inches, and it comes down through here. Uh huh. You know, somewhere it may go, and I don't think it comes under there, it comes out here. And it goes down to here. It's coming right down through here somewhere. Okay, outside. Yeah. Okay. It, it, could, it, it could turn and come out and come down here, but it comes down the front of the house. And it hooks into this. This one right here hooks onto it. See those two pipes right there? Yeah. The big pipe is where the water is gravity, gravity pouring in. Right. The little pipe 
Where is the little That's a two inch pipe. Oh yeah. That's where the water's been pumped back out. Right. Right. That's right, right. Now I noticed there's some spider eggs hanging. You need a big light. Yeah. There is a light in there, but I don't know if it works. Yeah, so he's got a pump in, he's got a sump pump in. This is not worth having. I'm you gonna know, have a big garden though. Use I'm $10 gonna have dollars a, a month worth of water in that garden. Ten dollars a month? Probably ten dollars a month. Really? Yeah. It's not worth Maybe, having. No, it's just not worth having. Around through here, like we build all the time. We're building them now, one in Lebanon. And, are you are? Yeah. And the door there, you have a little retaining wall around through there. Some steps right here it goes down to the bottom. See that goes down. I know. It's pretty deep. Cut you a door, put a steel door frame in, like a metal door frame, like they always do in blocks, and have a door there and have steps right here, goes down into it, and that could, that could be used for a lot of things. Yeah. Well, I need some place to store vegetables and stuff because the shop, it gets too place. hot in the shop and everything yeah, in the summer. That's a, that's a good place to keep it right there. But as far as trying to use it, that's not worth nothing. That's not. No, I mean, anybody would tell you. Well, there is some benefit to having rainwater versus city water that's got chemicals in it and stuff. Well, you know. now that, that is so. Yeah. But if you put that tank back down, you'll get enough water off of that to wait to. That's true. In this building, you quit using that system, You this is all still good. Yeah. You still need this. So you hook on to that pipe down there because all your downspouts are getting water away from the house. Oh, I see. So you tie on to that and take it on down yonder and let it go out. Do no damage to this because it, it's all in good. It lets, it's, it's taking all the water away. That's the reason your floor, right. the base, or the, the crawl space is dry as it is. Okay, great. It's because of this system that they've got in here. Mm-hmm, great. So they did a good job. See, that one's coming down here too. I know. Why is it sitting at an angle? Well, yeah, it's wanting to, it sits on here really good. Uh-huh. But it's booting up a little bit like that oh yeah okay so what it is on the inside of here it needs to dig out a little more back in here okay that thing sits right in there good i've soon had it up there it just needs some yeah some, okay great i've got my cuts made okay and everything i get this thing up there we can go to town on it okay great fantastic cannot take care of you out there oh man you have no idea. We got, we got another big job coming up. <laughs> He's going to be here for a while. He's going to turn my cistern house into a root cellar and a uh, storm yes, cellar. Yes, this construction. <laughs> This whole piece right on top of it. Right. Mm -hmm. Does the bottom piece fit exactly? Hmm? Does the bottom piece fit in the space? Or do you have to? No, we don't have to have a piece put in it. Right here, see, when I, after I cut it right there, see, it'll just come over that much. So it'll have to have a piece put right here. Oh, it's not, it's not wide enough. No. 
it's kind of hard to imagine how it's going to look. It's, when it's, it's when, going to be pretty when it's done, I tell you this. But it's a monster to do it. It almost seems like I should have gotten a bigger piece, though. You better say something right now, or bitch. I know. <laughs> Well, it's been another exhausting day. <laughs> and the last thing that I'm doing is, do you know how all the mini cords, all of the electric cords and cables that go from computers to sockets to outlets to power strips, oh my goodness. This little cart that I put together for my apartment, for my garden stuff, we grabbed this for the um, Wi-Fi guys yesterday, the internet installers, because it had to go here to be in a central location. This goes right up the stairs, so right here, you got the kitchen, you got the garage, you got the whole house over there. And then I wired, I wire, I have a jack in my office for the computer to be hardwired with Ethernet so for uploading videos it will be much faster anyway so I <laughs> I took a look at how they set this up I didn't want to get too close we were doing social distancing and so I just let him do it and I, I didn't like it at all because all the cords were on the floor underneath this little cart so that way you can't dust or anything and so I just redid all of this. Instead of having the power strip sitting on the floor, which is what he had, I have put it all on the lower level. The modem and whatever this other thing is, and uh, this thing, which goes from the, uh, this is for the phone, I believe. Uh, put all this on this level, which will be fine. And there's nothing obstructing it so the signal will keep going and then on the top I have my weather uh, you know I want to be able to touch this and actually utilize this hear the weather Sunday night mostly clear lows in the lower 30s Monday partly cloudy in the morning then becoming oh, partly sunny that's the the next days. week that's next week I guess oh I unplugged it so I've got to reset the time on this the time of the day um, but so I have my landline and you know we talked about the landline I did not get a wired copper wired AT&T landline in here I haven't done that yet I could do that but right now I've got the digital landline so if the electricity goes off nothing works nothing <laughs> but at least I can clear this out and I can move this out a little bit, you know, have a little uh, leeway with the cords and uh, I can sweep underneath it. And, you know, when you have an animal, you always have pet hair. <laughs> so I'm much happier with this and it looks neater. And this, is, this little card has become my communication central. You know, when you get work done on your house, like plumbing or electric, like today I got the vapor barrier done. They did a really good job. That door closes and I don't go under the house unless there's a really big problem. But the decisions you make on a focal point, like the fireplace, are so <laughs> nerve wracking. I just hope I made the right decision. I hope I got the mantle wide enough deep enough, uh, tall enough. You know, when I first put it up there, I thought, oh, it should have been a little bit bigger. It's getting kind of swallowed by all that gray stone. I don't know. I don't know. It remains to be seen. And of course, it depends on what I put above it, you know, what piece of art I put above it. But at any rate, the project's moving along. And now that we've got the mantle in, he's just, he'll just, whoosh, and it'll be done. So I'm pretty excited. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. And if you're a late bloomer like me, starting over, I hope you'll find my channel interesting. Go to that bell and hit it and scroll down and hit all for notifications so you don't miss any of the action right here on my Tennessee homestead. I'll see you in the next video.